I understand if you want me to get lost. I, I just thought maybe you would want someone to be with you. He really is beautiful. I really hope that he knows I'm here. Yeah, I'm sure he does. Love's powerful. I saw that in my last my days of my dad's life. I see. I, my dad didn't go through what Liam's going through. As a matter of fact, I just want to say that naming him Liam Mike was great. My father would love that. It's become a real family name, hasn't it? <laughs> You know, I had a complicated relationship with my father. And I was very grateful that the last couple of years that we, we reconnected, we had a great time and it meant the world to us. But the, the illness was gonna prevail in the end. He accepted it before, uh, before I did. Before I could. Um... At least you had that time with him. Yeah. My baby hasn't even opened his eyes and looked at me. He hasn't seen me smile at him or felt me hold him in my arms. that he recognizes my voice when I tell him that I'm here and that I love him. I don't want to accept this. It's not fair. Other people get, get miracles. Why can't he get one? You know, I, I felt the same way about my dad. I wanted, you know, any way out, a miracle, a cure. And when I, uh, I knew that there wasn't going to be one, I had to make the decision, put him on feeding tube, on a, you know, on a feeding tube, or let him go. And it's a, it, it was the decision that I just, I couldn't make, I could not bring myself to do because I had just gotten back together with him, and I felt like Felt like I was giving up on him. How did you decide? 